Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. And Schroeder Skywalker from the DFS Club. He's right down here. He's about to come up here. Coming to you guys the MLB Monday edition main slate video. Again, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. I know you hear that from everybody on YouTube, but you know what? That's all YouTube cares about. So in order to help out this channel, we got to get to 6,000 subscribers. We are almost there, guys. I mean, how can you say no to this face? Exactly, Schroeder. You tell me, how can you how can you not hit that subscribe button? Get us to 6,000 subscribers. How can you not leave us those comments, those like buttons? You guys are killing the like buttons, though. Um, so, yeah, we really appreciate it, guys. And we're giving away a one-month pass to the DFS Club on Thursday. Plus, we're also going to give away a free $25 giveaway. So, make sure you guys tune in. And in order to qualify, you got to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment down below. And if you're returning on your way out, if you can do me a solid, if you can do me a kindness, um, don't slam the fucking door. No more. Anyways, um, if you can do me a kindness and hit that like, that subscribe button, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your weekend was. Wait till I show you just what we did today, guys. You, you guys are gonna, not going to believe me. Like, man, Skywalker would be lying about the DFS club. They're not that good. They're, they're too cheap to be that good. They're just too cheap. It's too good to be true. But to the contrary, and without further ado, let's start the fucking show. All right, guys. So happy uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, whenever you're watching this. Uh, start the week off right, because we're starting the month off right, man. This has been insanely good. Three takedowns in a row, and then I've cashed uh, every, every day since, so I can't complain. But, guys, it, it was Sunday, so we had NASCAR today. We had soccer today. We had MLB today. We had what what else? Let's take a look, guys. So this is behind our paywall here. This is the DFS Club, our Discord. And let's take a look, man. So a lot, a lot of winners today. And I love RL or Rose here rocking the DFS Club logo. Look, we don't make our members rock our logo. We don't even tell them to. Um, they can do it if they want, but it's there's no pressure. Because, again, guys, if you're signed up with someone and they're pressuring you, pressuring you to rock their logo, they better be paying you because that's just free advertisement for them. Okay? It's a, it's, a, it's the oldest trick in the book. So don't let them bully. If you want to put up an avatar picture of your dog, your cat, your baby's mama, I don't know why the fuck you'd ever do that. I personally, if I put my picture of my baby's mama up as my avatar, you'd see a cross between a chupacabra and a silverback gorilla. So, again, don't rock the logo if you don't have to, guys. That's how we, that's how we are in the DFS club. So, anyways, unless they're paying you guys, tell them to go. Tell them, you, you know all you can tell them they can go do. But, all right, so first up, we got some baseball here. A 168 takedown for RLA Rose 14. Very nice. Heaney only got 13, though, but Detmers was, was the key that night. Um, look at this, guys. First, sixth, seventh, ninth, ninth, 20th. That beautiful DFS Club logo. And Willie, welcome back home, Willie. Uh, Willie's one of our original members uh, back when we had, like, I don't know, 20, 50 people in here. Now we have over 500 plus. Had to take down in UFC. It was hard to take down, but you know what? Jeff Neal was the key. You had to have Jeff Neal. Um, and you had to have Usman, right? Because only what? Two, I think only two underdogs won. Correct me if I'm wrong, but way to go, Willie. And welcome home, brother. And then Dazillion absolutely demolished soccer today, guys. Take, I mean, not takedowns, but yeah, he had takedowns, but showdowns. Right? $59 there. $33 there. $10 there. El Scientist. This man makes the video almost every night. These are one of our sharks in here, guys. This is video games. $1,335. Esports. Esports, guys. $120 here. 
And there it is, $1,125 takedown. I'm just baffled. I mean, I love you guys, man. And then, yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, I think this is more esports, $105 there. Uh, Cree Mestro says, My first takedown. Thanks, Sky. You are very welcome. UFC. So they run their own little like captain contest for the UFC. So nice little $40 win there. Um, ZZ. <laughs> ZZ Ubi one, a newer member, and it's been an absolute delight to, to have in the uh, DFS club. You're very welcome, my dude. Came in fifth, won 750 bucks there. Love it. San Francisco, brand new member, brand new member, guys. Comes in, gets a 170, 175 dollars. Hard hitter, won 1,250 dollars, guys. This is just today. All these winners you're seeing are just today, mind you. $1,250, guys. Very nice. Very nice. Nice job, my dude. $400 in this contest. Uh, 25 here and 25 here. Another brand new member, Ultimate Blue. NASCAR, guys. Take down. Take down a NASCAR. Gator. Came in 10th, won $721, guys. We charge $14.99 a month. What are we doing here? This is why we've just surged in members. Um, we surpassed 500 a week ago. We're, we're heading towards 600 real quick. Uh, the next milestone is going to be 1,000. Mr. Parrish for NASCAR invested 209, won 509. Very nice um jde24 a newer member here came in second look at this guys second two points away still won seven thousand seven hundred fourteen dollars and 28 cents is that not the shit two thousand one hundred forty two dollars 85 cents got oh that was nascar that was nascar so very good the bad guy makes a video every damn night He's doing the damn thing, WNBA. L Scientist, some WNBA, 100 bucks there. DFS Space came in 14th. I know, Space, you should have had that takedown, bro. But, man, it sucks to be that close. But then again, you win good money, so it really doesn't suck. Hurricane, Hurricane won $500 today in MLB with a 156. TGG for life to finish us off, guys. Says, thank you, DFS Space. Rocking the DFS Club logo. Came in six, and WNBA won $5, guys. This was just today. It would be an hour and a half video if I showed you probably what we did Saturday, too. So I'm just, hey, when I say we're the best, we're the cheapest in the industry, and no one can mess with us, watch this. <laughs> Stretch. Are we not the best, Schroeder? Are we the best? He says, yeah, and we're only $14.99 a month. Come join the DFS club. That's what's up, Schroeder. You tell them. You let them know. So in case you don't know, guys, just go to the website, dfsclub.com. Stop losing. Start winning. Check it out. Yeah, as you guys saw, we play every single sport, especially on the weekends. It's crazy. And we got sharks in here. All right? We got DFS space. My brother from another mother, myself. And we got all these other sharks in here, guys. We play everything. Look at the slideshow down here. Look at the slideshow. Just look at it. Click join now. And then make sure you click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, so I get credit. And then uh, pick your plans, guys. So look at this. $14.99 a month. That's for everything. You get all my lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks, the members-only podcast. We go live one hour before a lot, guys. Saturday, I did... The MLB and then went right over to the UFC members only podcast. So in case you wonder why I've been putting out UFC videos, I've been just doing it specifically for the DFS club. Just my way of saying thank you to them, man. Um, and then we have silver and gold plan. So here's what here's the deal. All I'm hearing in the industry right now is about promo codes and they're going to raise your prices for NFL this season. They're all doing it. But if you use a promo code, you maybe you get 10 percent off of their. $200 a month subscriptions. What we charge for one year, guys, 
is what everybody's going to charge you for a month for NFL. Give me a break. Give me a break. These guys are so greedy, man. It makes me sick. I am really, I, this is the first year where I've seen it this bad around the industry. So I'm on a real mission here to get us to over a, a thousand, a thousand members in here. Silver plans, $79.99. Three day passes. Come check us out for three days if you want. Prize picks, we got you. Members only podcasts, sports wagering, all my lineups, guys, ownership projections, top stacks, top core plays, top pitchers, everything, guys. Stop missing out. I know you're watching my videos and you're like, man, I'm going to join up one day. I'm going to do it this day. I'm going to do it that day. But for $14.99 a month, let me just be brutally honest with you guys. If you can't afford $14.99 a month, you probably shouldn't be playing DFS. <laughs> Right? Am I not right? Once you pay the bills, bills come first. Child support maybe comes second. Um, I pay enough of that. Um, and whatever's left over, maybe for, for, for the for the wife, the husband, you know, buy them a little something nice. Then come play some DFS. Right? Make sure your priorities are in order. First and foremost, today's lesson. All right? Then come come play some DFS with us guys. $14.99 a month. I can't even say it. DFSclub.com, guys. Let's go. Let's let's just go. I'm pretty soon I'm not even trying to even try and sell you guys on this because it just speaks for its damn self. I'm trying to save you guys from these other ones. All right. I'm just trying to save you. All right. So let's go over the totals for tomorrow. So we got a small slate for a Monday. Normally it's about 11 to 13 games. This one's a seven-game slate, but I kind of like it. I think there's some edges to be had here. There's no weather concerns as of now. Let's make sure we got the right angle here up. Yep. So the first game on the slate, we got Toronto at Baltimore. Humid, partly cloudy, 88 degrees. Great hitting weather. The problem is it's in Camden Yards. And if you don't know, again, I'm a broken record, but some people don't know this stuff. That left field wall is about 450 feet. Every other ballpark, it's like 325 feet. So not a big fan, but the right field fence is fine. But for that left field fence for right-handed batters, it's a it's a monster, man. But yeah, it's going to be hot. It's going to be very uncomfortable for everybody. I don't want to hear any more yelling, Schroeder. He's just sitting right here being so chill. But yeah, winds are blowing out too. So it's going to be hard to overlook this game. You got 5.3 for Toronto. 4.4 for Baltimore. We got Kikuchi, who looks pretty damn good against Jordan Lyles. So the thing about Baltimore is they're not really known to strike out. However, against left-handed pitchers, they're second in the league in strikeouts. So even if Kikuchi goes like five innings, it depends on his pitch count, right? He's old, so his stamina is not what it used to be. You might need to take a Viagra or something before he goes out there. Get that stamina up. Um you can get you there at only 6.8K. That's a really good price tag. Even I like Jordan Lyles. I don't love him, but I think he's a pretty good pitcher. The only problem is against Toronto. Toronto always scores a lot of runs. Um, projected lineup, I think Springer's on the on the uh, disabled list, so probably Gurriel will be leading off for a while. Um, Kirk, I mean, I'm always, since there's no Salvador Perez on the slate, I'll probably go Kirk as my catcher. But, yeah, Toronto stack looks pretty good. Not really on Baltimore. They were hot there for a minute, but then they really cooled off. So, But, yeah, I love Toronto on this side. Next up, we got the Reds at the Mets. Mostly cloudy. It's going to be hot. It's going to be uncomfortable for everybody. 87 degrees. Look at this, guys. 13-mile-an-hour winds gusting out the center field. 3.2 for the Reds. 5.5 for the Mets. Justin Dunn. This Who the fuck... Where do they find these these beauties, right? I've never even heard of it. They made them up. Justin Dunn, 6.6K. Going up against the Bassett Hound, Chris Bassett. It's a it's a good spot for Bassett. I'm not going to say great because the hitting weather is just so damn good, right? But you know Bassett can get the, the damn thing done. He's 9.3K. He's not too expensive. I'd imagine that the Mets are going to be pretty popular tomorrow, and rightfully so. Um, They're expensive. But there is some value pitching on this slate. Like Akuchi, you can take a shot there. 
Then we got Washington at the Cubs, and winds are going to be gusting inward at 16 miles an hour, guys. That is horrible for hitting. Horrible for hitting. 72 degrees. You got 3.2 for the Nationals, 4.5 for the Cubs. Annabelle Sanchez versus Keegan Thompson. I don't mind taking a shot at Keegan Thompson. At home, winds are blowing in at 16 miles an hour. He's only 6.7K. I think there's good value here. Because who does Washington have left, right? Um, as far as hitting goes, I don't want nothing to do with it. Then we got the Angels at the A's. Partly cloudy, 63 degrees. Maybe I'll go to this game. I'm just trying to – I'm waiting for it to get really hot around here. It hasn't been, right? I hate freezing my ass off at the Coliseum um, for these night games. 3.4 to 3.7. We got Jose Suarez. Now, I don't know if he's going to be on a pitch count or not. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. Against Cole Irving. So, Cole Irving, yeah, looks good at 8-2. Not great, but looks pretty good. The Angels strike out more than anybody. Jose Suarez against the A's looks pretty good. So, I would just take the pitchers here. That's it. Nothing sticks out as like, okay, this is going to be a, a high-scoring game whatsoever. So, I like the pitchers here. San Francisco at San Diego. Partly cloudy, 76 degrees. We got the Giants at 3.5. Vegas thinks San Diego is going to get 4.7. Alex Wood against Blake Snell. I love Blake Snell on this slate. He's only 8.8K. The Giants strike out so much, man. They strike out a lot, especially lately. Um, and they're so frustrating the roster now. This, this, this damn manager, Gabe Kaplan, always pinch hits everybody. Everybody gets two at-bats, and then you get pinch hit four. He's like the fucking Steve Kerr of managing baseball. Everybody's got to play, right? Everybody's got to play. Forget winning games, right? That doesn't matter. As long as everybody plays. That's the mentality of this fucking guy. That's my that's my rant. I'm not a Giants fan, but I'm a DFS player, so rostering the Giants can be very, very <laughs> frustrating. Blake Snell looks good at 8-8. San Diego looks pretty good. Not great, but because Alex Wood's pretty good, but he's not great, especially on the road. Um but yeah, Profar, Soto, Machado, pick your poison here. Brandon Jury, because it is a lefty. Brandon Jury goes off against lefties. So San Diego looks decent. And then we got Pittsburgh at Arizona. Pittsburgh went off today, right? That's weird. Sundays are just weird in general, guys. They go out on Saturday night. Apparently, they went out on Friday night, too, because that Saturday slate, holy shit, was it low scoring. I think it only took 105 to score on a GPP on Fandle, mind you. So it looks like they all fucking went out drinking this weekend. So Sundays look more like Saturday, right? So, yeah, Pittsburgh must have stayed in and and uh, took their vitamins. And, yeah, they, they almost broke the damn slate today. 3.2 for Pittsburgh, 5 for Arizona. Um, Tyler Breed, again, who's this fucking beauty, right? Look at this fucking beauty. Against Zach Galeen at 7-9. You guys know I love Zach Galeen at home. And he's going up against a Pixar Pirates team. But, yeah, they're pretty good. I just like O'Neill Cruz. That's it. Other than that, I see nothing but strikeouts here. Zach Galeen's been great as of late. And, uh, yeah, Arizona stack looks spectacular again. Spectacular. I know I love that word. And they're not too expensive either. So I'd imagine they'd be, like, a good number two stack. But, you know, the field's going to see it. And then we got the Yankees in Seattle. The Yankees went nuclear today. 4.2K. That's why I always tell you guys, man, a go-to is always the Yankees. Always at least try and get one Yankee stack, right? Always. Because they go off. And when they go off, they go off. So 4.2 for the Yankees. 4 for Seattle. It's going to be clear. 81 degrees, which is warm for Seattle. Winds are going to be blowing in at 7 miles an hour. We got James Talion against Logan Gilbert. Why is Logan Gilbert 8-4? Logan Gilbert should be 2-4. He absolutely sucks. James Talion's okay. I guess for the matchup, he looks pretty good. Um, a Yankee stack. I like the Yankees more at Yankee Stadium. I'm not really a fan of this ballpark as far as like runs being scored. So I don't know how much exposure. Of course, I'm still interested to see where Aaron Judge ends up at the end of the season. Like, they're projecting him not to be even in the lineup tomorrow. I don't know what's up with that. Did I miss something? Did Aaron Judge get hurt today? 
but um if so leave it in the comment down below i think i meant i missed that one why is he not projected in the lineup but he's on pace to hit like 66 home runs something like that so without judging this lineup though if that's the case like no thanks absolutely not so stacking toronto the mets i'd say arizona maybe a sprinkle of san diego so it's a seven game slate you want to be really different sneaky stacks Oh, man. Sneaky. I'd love to say the Giants. I really would, but it's a tough pitcher. And you're, you're lucky if your batter gets two at-bats. Maybe Seattle. I don't know, guys. It, I'll, I'll, I'll know tomorrow, though. Once I really dig into this, this is the night before. You guys know me. I like to dig into it. So by the, by the members only podcast, I'll have, the, I'll have it together. So let's go to the draft dashboard here. Let's look at the individual plays. Let's go to here. We go. Here we go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right now. All right. So let's go to the position optimizer. So we base we already went over pitching. So I'm not gonna be a broken record here. Um, let's go to first base. So for some what offs today, I mean Pete Alonso for a Met stack. Yep, get him in there. Anthony Rizzo. So Rizzo's dealing with a lower back tightness. Go to the fucking chiropractor, okay? Do some stretches. You'll be fine. God, these players are just not tough anymore. He's back over 5K now, though. That's the thing. Ugh, this New York. I'm not, I'm not really. DJ LeMay, he's 5-1. Daniel Vogelbach looks good, though. 3.7K, part of that Mets stack. Going up against Dunn, the, the, the guy they made up here. Um, he's a righty and Vogel got Vogelbach crushes righty. So yeah, I do like that as a one-off. Um, let's go to second base. Let's see. Cattell Marte, Arizona stack looks pretty good. 5k though is a little much. He hasn't scored more than 10 fantasy points in five games, guys. So they need to chill with the price tag here. I know it's a name, but he's firmly in play. If you're going to stack Arizona, I think you got to get to him, right? David Fletcher, I've been on him. I've been talking about him. He did pretty good today. He's three. I think he got a home run today, actually. He's 3.2K. If he's going to lead off for the Angels tomorrow, look at his record against Irvin. He's five for, sorry, eight for 15. 533 batting average. He crushes lefties, and he has a homer off him. So, yeah, I love Fletcher as a cash play at 3-2. And he's dirt cheap. Third base. We're looking at Josh Rojas at 4.7K, leadoff hitter. And like I said before, Brandon Drury, 5.6K. He's on San Diego now, so he's settling in, but he crushes lefties. I like that. Uh, Matt Chapman, he's 4.7. He's not 5K anymore. Um, but against Lyles, he's been pretty good. Six for 17, three home runs. That's really good. Two singles, a double, batting 353. Uh, Josh Donaldson, 4K, is a Yankee I really like. Um, I think it's a Josh Donaldson day, right? Against Gilbert, he's perfect. Only in two at-bats, though. But in those two at-bats, he's got a double and a homer. For some reason, he don't like Logan Gilbert, guys. Josh Donaldson don't like a lot of people, but especially Logan Gilbert. Let's go to shortstop. Cheers, Rockstar. Still haven't slept, guys. Tonight, I plan on sleeping. I had to get up early for the MLB slate today, but tonight I plan on sleeping. Woke up, did the slate, did the members only podcast, make sure everybody was settled in, in in the club. Then went to the card room and played poker for about six hours. And I fucking broke even. Because at this fucking at this card room, I'm sure like most card rooms that I've been to, these motherfuckers, they play any two cards. I had Ace King, this dude, this dude. Called my raise with a 6-3, right? I'm like, I'll take your money all day long. Keep calling me with that 6-3. I badgered the shit out of him at that table, man. It's a gentleman's game. But, man, gamble, gamble, you know, fucking any two cards, especially if they're suited. You poker players know what I'm talking about. They're suited. Any two cards, they'll play them. So just more money in my pocket. But, yeah, six hours. It was cool though. That that's since the lakes are all dried up out here. You guys, if you guys watched my show last summer, 
my advice was going to the lake, going fishing, chilling at the lake, just oosa, right? But the problem is the lakes are all dried up. They, they haven't been stocked with fish in over two years now. So there ain't no fish left in there. So I got to find other shit to do. So when I go to the card room, I was a poker player before I was a DFS player. So anyways, back to back to baseball. Francisco Lindor is 5'9". I do, do not like the price tag. I think that's way too much. Way too much. Francisco Lindor should never be close to 6K. But they did it on purpose. They know that the Mets are going to be popular. So hopefully it just gets the ownership down. I'm sure that's what they're thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Bo Bichette's still too cheap at 4 or 5, guys. It's like he plays. He must play DFS because he saw his price tag. He's like, wait a damn minute. I know I've sucked all year, but but you guys dropped me down to 4-4, four, 4-5. Four, four, but, yeah, I like Bo Bichette tomorrow. That's right. Oh, there's Schroeder's first home run call. So the rule is whenever I say a player's name and Schroeder meows, they're getting a home run, and that counts as a home run call. Guys, it's worked every time so far. He doesn't do it that often. So Schroeder's first home run call is going to be Bo Bichette. And then O'Neill Cruz. 4-2 looks pretty good. I love this kid, man. I think he's going to be, for Pittsburgh, I, when I think of Pittsburgh and, like, recent, like, all-stars, I think of Andrew McCutcheon back in the day, right? He might be the next Andrew McCutcheon for that organization. Let's go to outfield. So, yeah, Aaron Judge, he's projected to not be in the lineup. He's healthy. Unless I missed something. I don't know, but 6-4, like, am I going to pay for Sterling Marte or Aaron Judge? I'm going to go Aaron Judge. Um, Dalton Varsho. I've been on him every day in the fucking podcast. 12, 14, 18, 13 in his last three. This is what he does. And he's been due for some major, major progression, major home runs. So, love Dalton Varsho at 4-1, especially with an Arizona stack. Um, Sterling Marte is 5-4. I mean, he's seen better days, but, man, he's having a good season. Wish he was still with Oakland, though. 5.4K is all right. I mean, you can get to him cheaper than Lindor, right? So that's about it for the one-offs. You guys already know the obvious plays. You know what teams they're stacking and who you're playing, right? So we already got our first Schroeder pick. Schroeder's first pick's already Boba Shett because whenever Schroeder meows, that's that's a shorter pick. And guys, when I bring Smoke and Joe Frazier on here, my dog, we're gonna do we're gonna when we pick the winners of the UFC fights, if he barks when I'm talking about a fight, that means we're taking the underdog. I don't give a damn who it is. I don't give a damn if it's my baby's mama versus me. If he barks during my baby's mama, then I'm gonna pick her to win. Right, Schroeder? All right, buddy. I know it's kind of a smaller slate. You already gave us Bo Bichette. Who do you got for your next home run call? Who do you got for number two? Well, you know, I'm kind of liking uh, O'Neal Cruz. Hey, all right. You're liking your shortstops today, I see. All right, Shorter. So Shorter's second home run call is none other than O'Neal Cruz. Say it with me, Shorter. Say Cruz. He said, get that damn microphone away from me. I don't know what it is, man. He, he doesn't like the microphone. Cats don't like looking at themselves in mirrors, and obviously he doesn't like looking at himself on the camera. All right, Schroeder, this is it. This is for all the salmon treats in the world. This is going to win us all. We can buy all the fish in the ocean, Schroeder, but we need to figure out who's going to get us not one, but two home runs tomorrow. Who do you got breaking the slate? It's going to get us not one, but two home runs. Well, we're going to go with our man, uh, Dalton Varsho. I think he gets the damn thing done. That's what's up, Schroeder. I like it. I like it. Thank you so much, Schroeder. Wonderful. And if you guys don't know, in Schroeder's former life, he told me this himself. Get ready for this if you're new to the video. Those of you that know what I'm about to say, you already know. Schroeder told me in his former life, in his former vessel, ladies and gentlemen, this is none other than Andre the Giant, right? So sometimes I call him Andre because he tells me that in his former vessel, his former life, he was Andre the Giant, guys. He remembers Hulk Hogan slamming him. Yep. 
Smoking Joe Frazier. I named my dog that because, hey, he tells me he's smoking Joe. What are you going to do? <laughs> Guys, this is supposed to be a show. We're supposed to be having some laughs, having some fun. So don't take me seriously. Check out my shirt, guys. So I'm a, I'm a Yellowstone fan, and, and I'm a cowboy. I have been forever. My friends, some, some of my friends make fun of me for the way I dress sometimes. I don't always dress cowboy, but, but when I do, they love to give me a good laugh. But check this shit out. That's when you've been on the ranch all day. You've been roping, mending fences. You've been bringing in a herd. Ain't nothing like bringing in a herd. Been doing cowboy shit all day. I love this shirt. I saw it on that uh, show, Yellowstone. I had to order one. But, yeah, it's a nice shirt. It feels good. Um, you guys know I love my funny T-shirts. But I love to laugh. If you can't laugh at yourself. Who can you laugh at? So, hopefully you guys got that bread like we did this weekend, guys. Do I need to bring it up again? Do I need to show you guys again what we did just today? Just today. DFSclub.com. Click join now. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. Pick your plans and you're in. And we don't raise our prices for nothing. I don't give a damn if it's NFL. What? XFL. What? MLB. What? UFC. Say it with me. What? Figure skating. Ice skating, ice hockey, NHL, soccer. We don't raise our prices for nothing, guys. So don't fall for it. Come join the real ones, the DFSclub.com. Um, I will give you 120% of, of the knowledge I got, and the rest of these sharks in here will do the same. And, man, we're in here laughing our asses off tonight. But – uh that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much. I had to take last night off. I haven't taken a night off of YouTube since the All-Star break, so well-deserved. Thought I'd get some rest, but I didn't. I stayed up all night thinking about the slate today, so that's just what I do, guys. I love what I do, and I love you guys. Again, I'm giving stuff away. I'm giving away free shit. $25, a free DFS Club membership, and once we hit 6,000 subscribers, we're like, 70 away i think seven about 70 away that day we hit six thousand. i'm coming on i'm giving away your one year membership the dfs club so make sure you're always tuning in make sure you subscribe you hit that like button leave me a comment hit that bell icon too so you know when i go live i'm gonna come on here and do it live once we hit it so and then maybe we'll we'll, we'll talk about we'll, we'll joke around have some fun we'll, th we'll think of something to talk about guys I have tons of UFC uh, fighters I'm interviewing coming up, so stay tuned for that. I'm Gabriel Skywalker. This is Schroeder Skywalker. Let's get this spread. Don't take shit from nobody. Right, Andre the Giant? That's right. You tell him. This is Schroeder Skywalker. I'm Gabriel Skywalker with another one. We're signing out, guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe.